Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I am doing a fun top 10 all time favorite floral sticker books by The Happy Planner. So if you wanna know my top 10 and why, then just keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, so I thought this would be a really fun video to make. It was um, a fun time for me to go down memory lane and think about, you know, all of my favorite Happy Planner sticker books, especially those that are, um, are florals. And that really um, was the start of using Happy Planner system um, for me. I um, started in 2018 um, with planning using the Happy Planner system. And when they came out with their very first floral sticker book, I was just so in love. And that's where I really began to hone and find um, my planning style of what type of sticker books I really love and enjoy using in my spreads and that has been history so um i thought it would be a lot of fun of just you know kind of sharing what my top 10 in, is and why and um and maybe you have um some of these sticker books too and i would love to hear down in the comments below if any of these would make your top 10 um or not so i am just going to um, kind of do a little bit of a countdown and I'm going to start with um, number 10 and that is going to be the Happy Planner um, Fun Floral Sticker Book. This was the very first floral sticker book as far as I'm aware by the Happy Planner and it is so old that this was before they even started writing the name of the sticker book on the top of it. Um, so definitely an OG and this was my start um, and I, there's been some other sticker books um, but this was the first one that was really dedicated to all florals and I don't know why I love florals so much. I know um, many of you do as well it's kind of like you know getting um flowers in real life and every time when i create a floral spread it is just like i'm getting a new uh, you know um set of flowers um for me you know every week so i don't know that i think that's why i love them so much but as i said this was an original and um for everything, for most of everything I'm going to be showing, um, these are sticker books that I have duplicates of. So these are my tried and true, <laughs> anything that I absolutely love, especially when it comes to florals, I will typically buy at least two of them. Um, so this one there is, I haven't gone into this one too much. I do still have a lot of stickers available, but, um, you know, this was kind of some of their, you know, original designs and a few I've used here or there, but um, this was from some of the very first um, patterns and everything. So um, I've used this a little bit. This is the first time they had like monstera leaves and the kind of tropical um, flowers and so forth and use different foils, some realistic ones as well. And, um, and you know, with the different foils on them and everything. So love this so much. So this is my number 10 fun florals. So my number nine is going to be detailed florals. Some of these sticker books may still be on the Happy Planner website. Um, you may even try some of the craft stores or some of the retail, um, sorry, resale types of um, shops like Macari and so forth or some of the um, different trading, um, buy, sell, trade, swap type of sites that I know are on Facebook. Um, and if you don't have any of these and 
are interested in some of them. You can even see a lot of the um, branding is different um, on them, uh, you know, compared to like the new branding. So anyway, so this Detail Florals, I believe this one came out as part of a spring release and it is just like the perfect spring florals. So this one was kind of beginning to have different um, florals paired with your boxes and functional um, stickers. And I, as I said, I just love this book so much because it was perfect, perfect for spring. Um, and this one also had the combination of using rose gold. Um, and it wasn't too many sticker books um, prior to this that had rose gold in it. Um, so lots of great options in terms of boxes and quotes and so forth. Beautiful rose gold. And then um, the florals were these up in the front. Again, these are some of the earliest illustrations and just love this. I remember um, when, when this book came out, I had done a Mother's Day spread um, using these florals and I just thought they were so, so pretty um, for that. So really great colors and just um, combination, everything coordinates. Um, and so that is my number nine detailed florals. Okay, number eight um, is teacher florals. Um, I have noticed that for the back to school releases over the years, there will typically be a sticker book that is more floral oriented. And this was one of the, the first ones that was like that. And um, it is a teacher. Um, it, this sticker book does work really well with a teacher layout planner but you um, can really use any size sticker in any size planner. And I know that's what I've done um, with this one. So this was really pretty. Again, some great combinations using um, watercolor stickers. So you had like a set that was blues and then kind of the different pinks and purples. And this one was great because again, it had that, that watercolor combination and everything just coordinate it so well. Um, it had some touches of gold um, in here in the florals that you could layer. Those are so pretty. And more of the watercolors boxes. So great function with your florals. And as I said, that's how I really began to kind of hone my planning style for me of uh, this combination of um, florals, boxes, and quotes. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of my spreads kind of have that same look and feel to it. Um, and so that's where a lot of these sticker books were great because it had all of that in one book. So you really could make a complete spread very easily. So sorry. So this is my number eight teacher florals. Moving on to number seven, Beauty in Florals. So this is one that I wish I had gotten a duplicate at the time, but I know um, some of these florals, they have put in um, some of the newer books as well. So I still have some to work with, but this was one of the very first sticker books that were more of a moody um type of colors this also i think was kind of around a winter release the year that it came out and it was really neat because um you didn't have very many kind of moody florals and these are a bit of a realistic look as well and so pretty and just the the purples and the greens and I just and the pinks I love this color palette you can see I have used a lot of them but um you can see like this is what the uh, overall color scheme um looks like and yeah this book has been heavily loved um and as I said I may even try to look out on the Happy Planner website and see if this one is still out there um, so I could get a second one. Um, but that's the color scheme here. So blacks and greens and your maroons and just more of your um, moody colors. And I really like that's what in my mind kind of made this book um, a bit more unique. So, so that is number seven, Beauty in Florals. And then moving on to number six, 
Let Love Grow. Um, and this one, I think, was maybe last year um, for the release. But um, don't quote me on that <laughs> in, in case I get that wrong. This, again, was another um, moody floral type of look and you have your purples and mauves and um, that whole color pattern. Um, these were also more realistic style florals, um, which I think um, there aren't very many um, Happy Planner sticker books that have these in here. The roses are really pretty. This had gold floral in it, and as you can see, just the colors are really um, more dark and moody and really pretty. Um, so, lots of great floral options. Um, this one I use some, and just more your boxes, and then your headers. Lots of great options, plenty of bullet points. That's one of the things I really loved about this book. Again, you had everything that you needed to create um, a spread very easily. Um, and that is the Let Love Grow. Okay, so moving into my top five. Um, so this is number five, I think, if I get my count correct. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay, <laughs> I am on track. So flowers. So this technically was um, the second floral sticker book that the Happy Planner came out with. It made my number five because it's just like one of my all-time favorites. Um, the set of florals here, and I still have the um, the original receipt of, again, this is a duplicate, so I have that original receipt of when I picked this up. Um, but I just love the illustrations of these florals. And this was um, the first time that the Happy Planner came out with more watercolor related florals, and um, which you'll see in just a second. But I love just the illustrations and this combination of pink and turquoise is so, so pretty. And I love these as well. Um, just, I think, the unique um, floral patterns. I think these were great for um, a fall spread with the leaves and everything um and then this was the watercolor so that i think was began my love of watercolor related florals and i remember um i think one year when this when this book came out for a spread i had did these purple ones for it might have been easter um or maybe um my mom's birthday because she loves the color purple and um and it just came out so nice so i love and also what was really different is just the size of these florals like this is one big sticker and i think that's what also i started to love you know kind of the oversized florals in the in my planner um was just a lot of fun and these purple with the little spots uh love it um the purple and green the pink and green and then um this set here which was really nice as well i remember when this sticker book came out it was like a misprint or a different print like some samples first came out and then the this actual one and there were really two um sticker books like this but these first set of florals in the front um were different i was never able to get the other book that was kind of the misprint i'd love to hear if if anyone remembers that um down in the comment below comments below and if you were able to pick up one of those um books that at the time had like the different set in it but i love this one so much and um just this color combination. So this is my number five flowers by the Happy Planner. 
Okay, moving on to number four, La Fleur. So I know this one came out um, last year as part of the fall release. This was fall 2022 release. This along with the actual planner that I use for this year um, is the La Fleur, um, like the classic size happy planner. And I love this coordinating sticker book that goes with it. There have been some other sticker books um, that have been a little bit more softer more delicate color palette but this one I think in particular is just gorgeous um, so this one features more as I said softer florals your pinks and roses they're lighter there's some blues like um, robin's egg blues in here there are um also, it has more of the rose gold. Like, I love this color palette so, so much. The blue and the gray and the black and the maroon. This is just gorgeous. So, um, I love this sticker book and um, just the color palette. As I said, is a little bit softer. Um, and with that rose gold, these were really pretty gorgeous quotes and like the scripting and this book is very just delicate and um just beautiful so um this is another sticker book where you have your um your quotes and your florals and lots of great function um in it so this one may still be available and i would say um is a great great option in terms of um all that you get out of it so the floor is my number four. Number three is Paper Raven Co. Um, and this is a collaboration that Happy Planner did with Paper Raven Co. I'm pretty sure this um, sticker book came out as part of the winter release of 2022. So you may be able to find it. Um, there's a lot of like spring type of florals in this sticker book. Um, again, back to um, my love for really large florals. I love the butterflies. I actually just used this one um, this week in one of my um, spreads and just love um, the combination. Of the, and these have like the pink um, foil on them, just how large the florals are. I love this for, um, I may use something like this for, for a fall spread. Um, these are just so, so pretty. So really big florals. Everything coordinates so well. Um, you get lots of great function in this book as well as your florals and quotes. So this is a great one if you can find it. Lots of great options in here. Love that purple too. Um, so that is number three, Paper Raven Co. Okay, number two is going to be Happy Blooms. There are two Happy Blooms. This is the original one. I love this so much. Um, it's got lots of different um, collection of, of florals in here. Um, and so this came out, I think in 2021 or 2022, but um, this one has some great illustrations of like house plants and monstera leaves and so forth. I think this was the first time I ever saw blue um, foil um, on this and it's just so pretty. So you have this set here and then these are kind of a like a wild flower um, type of set. These are just really fun illustrative florals. Same here. Just love how big this floral is and the color combination. And then these have kind of a, a little bit more of a shaded backing on them. Really pretty with the hummingbird. And then I know these have been in out in several other books um, and love just these big florals. They're um, gold foil and um, these are really pretty as well. That combination of pink and orange and then these as well. 
And then finally, this is like one of my favorite sets ever. Um, these set of tropical florals with the hummingbirds. I remember when I had I created this spread um, a few years back and I just loved it so much. <laughs> so um, these are really, really pretty um, and very unique. And then a few more um, florals here at the front. So number two favorite sticker book um, that's florals is uh, Happy Blooms by the Happy Planner. And then my number one, <laughs> number one floral sticker book by the Happy Planner is Dream Seeker. And I have to tell you guys, <laughs> when this book came out, and this is when, um, you know, you had a lot of the craft stores that were carrying the Happy Planner. And this one was from Michael's. This is also when Michael's used to do the 40% off coupons. I know they don't, um, they do that more or less frequently now. But when this book came out, I think I bought probably five of them. <laughs> and so I still have a lot of them and it's because it's just my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, I'm not, I don't know what, just kind of this boho vibe theme is um, what this sticker book is all about and I just remember when it came out and I just loved it so um, this one you may find on um, as I said some different resale sites and so forth but what was really neat um, is again kind of the boho vibe and I had never seen floral stickers before with like the buffalo or cow and the florals um, the skull with the florals um, com combined together and the feathers and everything. This was just so unique and so, so pretty. I love just the size of these florals and just the color combination, um, the feathers. And I think this was the one of the very first sticker books that also had copper foil um in it and that's what these are um you know it's very like free spirit dreamer um you know wild at heart i just love these quotes and that um that copper foil so more quotes lots of great options headers and then you had your circles and just more shapes and great function as well with different boxes and um yeah i just love this one it's kind of a um southwestern vibe boho vibe it's just so pretty and, and it was really really unique um sticker book at the time so um so and that is like one of my old <laughs> um old receipts from when I first purchased this one. So this is Dream Seeker and as I said still has so much great function to it and boxes and bullet points it has everything so my number one favorite floral sticker book is dream seeker so definitely as i said i would love to hear from you down below and uh, if you have any of these sticker books or if any of these would make up a top 10 list for you would love to hear and as i said this was a lot of fun just kind of going down memory lane um and sharing actually there's um before I wrap up there's a two other books that did not make the top 10 but they are runners up <laughs> and that is both of these um mega sticker books and these are also such great value um and I think they may even still be available I think the botanical ones for sure um I've seen from time to time on the happy planner website um on sale but the floral flower power was the very first floral mega sticker book and if you remember the botanical series or again some of the earliest illustrations um you'll see those stickers here so it was kind of like a combination of some of those original sticker books at the time all um together in one book and these are a lot of fun again that botanical 
theme and the moody stickers and everything so those are great and so even if you didn't catch some of those um, original sticker books if you have something like this you will be able to get many of those early illustrate illustrations um, that came out in some of the earliest um, sticker books so I've used this one um, some and do still love it and um, and so definitely check this out as a runner up <laughs> for me. And yeah, I just finished flipping through this one. Those were social light stickers. If you remember the um, planner girls with the social light theme that's in here. Um, and then the botanicals, um, as I said, had some of those really great um sets if you miss some of these other sticker books that um are great options as well so if you like the botanical look and miss the original this is a great one to pick up i think on this side all of these are more boxes and function and words um if you ever are looking for word stickers this is another great book um, that is offered here okay so that is my runner up the flower power as well as the uh, botanical so um, so I think that's going to do it if you like this video click that like button and give me a thumbs up and again um, don't forget to, sub to subscribe I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day Bye, friends.